Oh, sweet. All right, as they say on Ready Player One, this one's for all the marbles. And I wasn't able to beat Elena's high score earlier in the game, so I'm hoping I can beat it right now. We'll see. The nice thing about this is if you don't, you can actually hit the start button and go into the menu and restart the last checkpoint. Checkpoint. Gots to get those apples. <gasps> Missed the crate. And some apples. Crap. How did I do? Do I get the best score? Oh, no way. Sweet. I broke her high score. Best score. Right on. Interesting. So, epilogue. I'm guessing this is their daughter. Very cool. I'm glad that I was able to beat... Old school. <laughs> Old school. That's so cool. Crash Bandicoot. For the PlayStation 1. Maybe I can feed the fish. Nope. Where did the dog go? Ooh. All right. Let's check this out. So good. The Nameless City. That looks cool. I really should clean this up. Yes, you should. Mm, later. <laughs> the Last of Us. It's a poster for The Last of Us. That's tight. Sitting there wearing their spore mask. All right, let's see if there's anything to examine in the bathroom, perhaps. Nope, just some more overall teenage dirtiness. Mom? Dad? Anyone? <coughs> Yoo-hoo! Maybe they're on another adventure. Oh, that looks beautiful. Ah, yes, there's the wedding album from earlier in the game. Mm -hmm. Oh! Yep. Baby. And puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sully. <laughs> I love Sully. Wow, Sam looks so young. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad that Sam actually stuck around and was a part of the family again. Cool. You know, I know that the game isn't even all the way over yet, but I just wanted to take a minute and say how much I've enjoyed playing this. I really think I can safely say that out of all the PlayStation 4 games that I have played, I think this one is my favorite. Definitely my most favorite Uncharted game. Wait, hang on there, puppy. I want to go this way first. I think they abandoned us. Yeah, definitely my most favorite Uncharted game. And I just love the story, the gameplay. I mean, it's cool that you can play Crash Bandicoot. You got to have all that fun driving in the Jeep, which was definitely my most favorite part of the story. 
All right, this is from Victor. We're sitting in a tiny cafe in the middle of a busy Havana street, drinking what might be the best goddamn espresso I've had in my life. No job, no one chasing us. Retirement is weird. Good, but weird. Sam says, Tell him to stock up the fridge with less shitty beer before we arrive. His words, not mine. Sam is also reminding me that you lost the bet. To both of us. Twelve months and counting with no smoking. And I'm in Cuba, for God's sake. That's how good I've been. Anyways, send the girls our love. Tell Cassie to warm up the backgammon board. I want my rematch. Looking forward to seeing the gang in a couple of weeks. Your pal, Victor. Oh, right on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that they actually forged a good relationship. When we first teamed up, they did not like each other very much. Here we go. The healthy choice. All right, I'm finally going to take the path that the puppy wanted me to take. He's not really a puppy, we but... totally throw a party in here. They wouldn't even know. Oh, I think they would. <gasps> we can throw on the record player. Let's see what you got. Mom has weird taste in music. Why, yes, wow, yes she does. Her. All right, that's enough. <laughs> All right, where did the dog go? Come here, Rufus. Come here, boy. Maybe we can try going out the front door. Or the back door. Oh, oh, what do you got here? <gasps> what is this? A milk bone? Oh, yeah. All right. <sighs> but just this one. <laughs> Large breed dog food. Oh, I want to feed him again. He looks like he deserves another snack. All right. But this is the last one for today. It's funny. She okay. looks just like Elena with glasses. All right. I'm going to try going out the door here. Hey. Oh, no she way. Goes. We live right on the beach. That's amazing. And there's the backgammon board all laid out for Victor to play with us. Wow. This is amazing. Ah, perfect day. Now all we need is the rest of our boat crew. Oh, we could take a kayak out for a spin. Seriously, we were on like a tropical paradise. This is fantastic. All right, it looks like we can maybe go out and check out the boat over there. I don't know what that house next to us is. I'm going to venture around this little path. I don't know if I can actually, but I'll give it a try. Or we can go next door here. Maybe this is Sam's house. Wouldn't that be rad if Sam lived next door to us? And not here either. Okay, I guess I'll just wait then. Whoa. Good job cleaning this That's up. cool. Well, it looks like Nate's been busy with the new business, the plotting all sorts of trips. Quite a bit. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> so goofy. Oh, it's her, right on. Treasure hunting runs in the family. On the cover of Adventure Life. Mm. He left his keys. He left his keys. <laughs> if you remember the old lady no that 
had our mom's journal. No. She was on the cover of Adventure Life. Way. Uh. Oh, right no. on. Uh, I knew it. There's good old Saint Dismas. What is this? Oh, nice, uh, gun holster, Dad. You know it. Kind of creepy. Kind of cool. A Spanish doubloon. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, from where? There's Nate's mom's diary. Hello. Wow. Oh my god. Whoa. Henry Avery, the Gunsway Heist. Wait, did you go looking for Avery's treasure? This is cool. I'm going to take a few minutes and just go through here. You can pause it and read it at your own pace. But earlier, when we first got the journal from the old lady at the mansion, we didn't really have much of an opportunity to read it because she pulled a gun on us. That's rad. Is that dad? Sure is. Sig Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. What's this? <laughs> That's Hello? rad. Oh shit. Crap. Hey, there you are. Hey. Been looking for you. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? <laughs> Suspicious. Uh, I just need to, um... Uh, What's up, get... Cassie? Okay. He named her after his mom. Her name Don't was Cassandra. I said, don't be mad. Keys. <laughs> I don't think he's mad. He's just pretending to be. So. What did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully. With a bunch of Spanish looking treasure. And a shotgun. <laughs> and it looks like there's blood stains on your shirt. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a silver skull of some kind. You know, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really. 
Nate, it's time to have the talk. Yeah, it's totally time. Wait, which talk are we talking about here? She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of that. That is different, and you know it. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ah, <laughs> funny. Mom? All right. Well, let's see. Um, for me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. Oh, she knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. <laughs> yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. Oh, come on, you know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that, pretty that's much right. it, yeah. Bullshit. Language. Language. Crap. Better. <laughs> All right, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up. Boat's ready. Wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. But well, wait, what would Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal with a map to El Dorado. The city of gold? That's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue. A cursed statue. No way. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. But uh, I'll get back to that later. But see, the map led us to the moon. Before I say anything else, I just wanted to say a giant thank you for checking out this series, whether you just watched one episode or the whole series, but I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I have. I honestly never would have expected the whole epilogue thing to take place. That actually just added even more, I don't know, just more to it. It's definitely one of those games, and in fact, I think the whole Uncharted series as a whole are games that you can get really emotionally attached to but i would say this one more so than all the others it just the story flowed it was really great you had an emotional connection with all of the characters and it was cool that we got to play as his daughter at the end that was rad not to mention i'm glad that everyone made it out okay sam's okay he's living a good life chilling with sully sully's okay <laughs> That was just amazing, and I'm so glad that we got to drive around in all those really cool Jeeps. That was just a blast. So I'm glad to finish it. I'm glad I know how the story turns out. Definitely one of my top, top, if not my most favorite PlayStation 4 game yet. But be sure to subscribe to my channel, or if you're already subscribed, swing by and check out some of my other gameplay video series. Lots of good stuff happening. I'm getting ready to start. Some new games coming up. And hopefully there will be a lot of other fun things that you can check out and enjoy just as much as I have. Uh, I wanted to thank you so much again. Hope you enjoyed the story. I loved it. And as always, I'll see you next time.